Hello, Dr. Becky here with Premier Chiropractic. In this video, I'm going to touch on bedwetting in children um, that's past the potty training age, and that's happening almost every night, um, regardless of what you've tried. Maybe you've taken the water or juice away, um, set alarms, basically tried everything, and it's still happening um, to the point where you're just kind of like, this has become a regular thing in our household. So um, the correlation that I'm going to make is with retained primitive reflexes and bedwetting. And in order to do that, I'll touch on what a primitive reflex is. So this is um, a reflexes that we have in utero or the babies have maybe, you know, three, six to about 12 to 18 months of age, depending on which one it is. Um, when they no longer need it, that reflex integrates um, into the CNS and, it, and you do something different with that movement. If it's not integrated, there becomes issue with what Whatever that is controlling and you can't have proper development um, depending on which one it is. So some that you've probably heard of are like the rooting reflex where you do this to baby and they go towards that um, or the startle or moral reflex. Um, but one that's a little bit less common that we hear about is called the spinal gallant reflex. This one um, is located in, in a couple different, or how you check it is, is in the back right next to the spine. Um, and it is meant for when they start to crawl, for their hips to go back and forth and their arms to go back and forth. And then once they start walking, movement of the hips. Um, if this one is retained, meaning that it doesn't integrate and it doesn't go away. So a child is five years old, I check the reflex and it's positive, meaning they move in that motion. Um, there is a very strong correlation between them having that and having bedwetting. In fact, in my office, I have yet to have a bedwetting child come in that doesn't have it. Um, I have yet to check and get a positive gallant reflex and the parent said, no, they don't bedwet. So in my office, I'm seeing a very strong correlation and in all the research and studies, there is a very strong correlation between the two. Um, good news is though, you can get that child to, by doing specific exercises and light adjustments in the spine where those areas are showing up, um, the, the reflex can integrate. Once the reflex integrates, meaning they don't have it anymore, they don't show the signs, um, bedwetting is going to go down to a point where they, they won't have bedwetting anymore. The other one um, that there's a strong correlation with the spinal gallant reflex is ADHD-like symptoms. So. They're very hyperactive. Um, they, you know, I, I kind of touch them and they twinge a little bit or go towards that. There's some sensory things going on. Um, again, once they integrate, we're, we're seeing very positive changes in behavior, ADHD-like symptoms, things like that, um, specific to the reflex. Now, if they have ADHD and they don't have the reflex, they, these are two different things um, that I'm talking about, but um, it just shows the, the symptoms, basically. So, Again, if your child is struggling with this, if, if you've taken everything away, if you've tried everything, um, let's go ahead and check and see if they have this reflex. It's something very simple that we do in the office. Um, they get in a certain position, and I know there's some videos on YouTube explaining how to do it, but if you don't know right where to do it along the spine, it's, you can get a negative reading. Um, I, I've seen it happen before. So if, you, if we check on specific areas of the spine, it shows up right away. From there, I give them exercises to do, um, at home, and then light adjustments in the area that are needed, and we're seeing really positive results. So if this is something you're struggling with, if you have any questions, go ahead and reach out, and I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you are struggling with this, I'm sure you'll, you're going to be looking up some primitive reflexes and the correlation, and it's pretty interesting stuff. So enjoy that, and go ahead and ask any questions you may have.